Hello everyone, my name is Kamil and I'm business development manager from Spock. This exciting time of the year, we have a brand new sunny San Diego release and we want to take you through its most useful features. We know that your time is precious, so we will focus only on the essence. So let's start. Here is the agenda of our today's meeting. Uh, each of those functionalities will be later shown in a demo and explained by our senior consultant, Michal. First on our list, new experience UI. In my opinion, this is the most exciting change. All ServiceNow users pay attention to the system UI. And let's be honest, in the previous versions, it didn't look so well. In this update, ServiceNow brings a completely new look on the interface and you have to check it out. Next one, automation engine with RPA. These days, automation plays a crucial role in every digital transformation. In this release, ServiceNow improved this area by giving you a seamless integration of legacy tools with ServiceNow and combination with, with RPA. Next one, low-code innovations. The term citizen developers has been lately popular in IT world. It is simply someone who is able to configure ServiceNow with a minimum development skills. ServiceNow chooses to create more low-code solutions so clients have more freedom in adjusting them to their business and needs. And the last one, strategic portfolio management, also known as IT business management. This change of name reflects what this feature is really about by adding various new applications, like for example, digital portfolio management, it can definitely improve your daily work. All right, Michal, let's take a closer look on those demos. The scene is yours. So there's no better place to start with San Diego than uh, Next Experience UI, also called Polaris. Uh, what you see is what we've all been seeing since 2016, UI 16. Uh, it's getting a little bit older and people are beginning to complain that this looks legacy. This is not on par with other modern applications. That's why ServiceNow is enabling its customers to move on to something that looks like this. Um, diving a little bit deeper, it's not just about the colors or rounded edges. It's about having um, uh, integrated user experience uh, that you can, uh, that is much more fluid, that you can shape according to your preferences, including pinning and unpinning your sidebar, um, favorites, and history. Uh, and maybe most importantly, having uh, uh, UI builder workspaces integrated into your user experience. So from one uh, user interface, you can navigate between uh, classic UI and um, workspaces. Um, with workspaces, um, I guess the most important thing here um, is that uh, something a lot of people have been uh, asking for, which is dark mode, has been enabled. Uh, works for workspaces, doesn't work for classic UI for now. And let's take a look at how it works. Um, just going to preferences theme and let me apply my dark mode. And there you go. My eyes are no longer strained. So uh, next up, we have automation engine. And this is really big. This is a game changer. We all know integration hub this native low code solution for integrating other api based systems with servicenow into workflows controlled by servicenow anything that has rest or soap web service available can be integrated into servicenow workflows and that's the that's the daily life or of many organizations there's not just one system there are 
in many cases, hundreds of systems uh, in enterprise organizations, and they need to talk to each other. ServiceNow is this platform of platforms. What, what, what is added in San Diego, and this is really brand new, and this comes on the heels of the acquisition of a startup company uh, that created this technology is the so-called RPA hub. RPA stands for Robotic Process Automation. And this is essentially a technology that enables uh, automating work in legacy systems, in um, documents, in uh, very heavily UI-centric um, workflows. Uh, and uh, ServiceNow uh, now can integrate these non-API systems, uh, legacy systems, into ServiceNow workflows. So as a result, your ServiceNow instance can be the controller um, of workflow automation across modern systems, things Salesforce, Workday, SAP, and legacy non-API systems where typically would need to go in and do some manual work like extract information, copy paste uh, files, uh, this kind of things. ServiceNow now will have the technology to create bots that will connect with these systems and perform these operations for you as what they call digital workers. Um, and from the technical point of view, this will just become another type of action in your uh, flow designer. So just like now, you have your spokes available for all kinds of things. Uh, think uh, Active Directory, uh, Salesforce, uh, you name it, it should be there, or you can create it typically with a uh, low code um, effort involved only. Uh, uh, your uh, RPA hub, uh, once you get the license, will be installed and available as another option. Um, this is now available with San Diego release. So ServiceNow can be the controller for automated workflows across modern systems and legacy systems, digitizing and automating some of this manual work in um, legacy systems. This is big. Point three, low code innovations. When I was looking through the fact sheet for San Diego, what caught my attention and this is sort of related to RPA Hub and Automation Engine. What caught my attention on page eight was how uh, App Engine solutions keep getting improved. Looks like ServiceNow is really dedicated to low code uh, as a direction of travel for the platform, making it more and more configurable and extensible by not necessarily pro coders, um, and we've had that for a long time. ServiceNow, this is not new, uh, generally speaking, directionally. Uh, we've had a catalog builder. We have a virtual agent designer that is based on the workflow. Well, we have App Engine um, as a, as a low-code um, environment where, where you can do a lot of stuff without even a line of code. Of course, you can then extend it with pro code, but a lot of things can be done um, without code or with just a little bit of code. And uh, ServiceNow doubles down on that in um, San Diego with uh, features like mm, automation engine with RPA, decision builder, flow designer diagramming, and um, ad hoc playbook activities. Um, so this basically just shows you that ServiceNow is committed to this. Um, now looking at one of these San Diego features, uh, I'm in the flow designer. Uh, what's new is that uh, while creating workflows in this interface, which by the way, 
is pushing out legacy workflow um, big time. Like you really need to think about your strategy of migrating from workflow to flow designer kind of as soon as possible. Uh, what comes out in San Diego may be a small thing, but uh, now your uh, low coders or your uh, developers who, who will be developing uh, your workflows in this low code interface in Flow Designer can toggle between uh, this flat view and this diagramming view of uh, the flow um, in which they can um, see it step by step, um, trigger after trigger, action after action, logic uh, item after logic item from a different, more user-friendly view. Easier to work with, um, giving more um, ability to, to customize developer experience and get to outcome get to market faster with whatever you're working on just to be just to be honest be and on a funny note it actually took me half an hour to figure out how to enable this uh, switch it's not active by default um and it's not documented too well, to be honest. Uh, but thank God we have community where uh, good people like Mark um, tell others how to enable new features in San Diego. Alrighty, it's time for number four, strategic portfolio management. And you know what? I was, I was going through the fact sheet, uh, looking at the release notes at the highlights and uh, as always with with uh, San Diego as with every release there's a lot of new features a lot of new enhancements to pretty much every product CSM is here uh, field service is here uh, ITSM uh, of course and you know I I couldn't find ITBM um, and now I know why because it's being rebranded to strategic portfolio management so on top of some new functionality, new features, what we're getting with San Diego is a rebrand and more and more integration between different applications in this space. And if you look at these different applications, uh, ITBM, now strategic portfolio management, is a powerhouse. Like it goes from idea management all the way up to uh, alignment planning, scenario planning. Uh, so from all these component sub-processes all the way to being able to plan at the enterprise level. Uh, and you have all your uh, familiar interfaces like uh, individual project workspace with gun chart views. You have your resource availability reports. Um, so it's, it's still there as, as always. Um, and you have these newer interfaces like uh, alignment planning uh, workspace based on UI builder with the ability to track progress on your roadmap items, um, create ad hoc roadmaps. And since San Diego, a much more enhanced goals management um, capability in which you can um, uh, connect your uh, company goals with uh, targets, projects, demands, um, epics, initiatives, big rocks. This is paradise for enterprise planners. Um, this is paradise for these big picture um, managers uh, and owners, including um, solution owners. Um, uh, with with digital portfolio management getting more and more integrated into uh, old ITBM now strategic portfolio management um, solution owners are getting a workplace uh, that is designed for their needs where they can manage um, services applications and all the data related to uh, what they 
own from one integrated um, interface that is connected with uh, everything that is uh, happening either in IT service management um, or with new initiatives from ideas, demands to everything in between. All right. Thank you very much, Michal. So there you have it. The most important uh, features of San Diego release in a nutshell. Till next time.